안녕하세요 여러분 클라리네티스트 김유나입니다 uh, Hi everyone, I am 클라리네티스트 김유나 김 오늘은 제가 제일 좋아하는 참치 김치찌개를 만들려고 해요 그래서 오늘도 진행은 영어로 하겠습니다 자막 있으니까 자막으로 보고 따라해주세요 So today I'll be making 김치찌개 which is 김치 stew um, and this is one of my favorite stews after 된장 stew um, and it's perfect to go with Korean barbecue with if you're cooking with samgyeopsal or galbi kimchi jjigae is just the right side soup for those uh, barbecue lovers so today i'll be making the kimchi stew but the special ingredient that i will be using is tada it's a uh, spicy tuna in a can and I know that some of my friends hate canned tuna, but I am a lover of canned tuna, and this will actually change your mind on canned tuna. So, here are the ingredients to make canned tuna kimchi stew. We will need about half a cabbage of kimchi, and the soup that the kimchi comes in, so kimchi and the kimchi soup. And we will need a soy sauce uh, that's for soup, uh, specifically. It's called kukkanjang, which is soy sauce for soup. You can get these at Asian markets uh, like H Mart. And the, another uh, Asian ingredient that you can get is minced garlic, which is already minced and um, kind of pureed in, a little bit in this jar. Um, it's a pre-made minced garlic, so we will need minced garlic. We need a little bit of sugar. We're gonna need some one jalapeno actually to make it spicy, and we're gonna need a uh, half of an onion, and of course the canned tuna. Just one canned tuna, please, and two scallions, and we're gonna need we're gonna need sesame oil. And our last ingredient is kochukaru, which is red pepper powder. And you can also get this at an Asian market, um, H Mart. Half an onion, canned tuna, jalapeno, two scallions, minced garlic, sugar, sesame oil, soup, soy sauce soup. Soy sauce for soup and the red pepper powder, and kimchi. So our first step is to cut up the kimchi and marinate it a little bit with, the sh with sugar. So take some kimchi and cut it up into bite-sized pieces like this, and we're gonna put it aside. So after you cut up some kimchi and you put it in a bowl, we're going to marinate it with one tablespoon of sugar. Here's sugar and I'm just going to take sweetness to the spicy kimchi flavor, which is just heaven. So I'm just going to let that sit aside. And while that's sitting aside, we're going to cut up our other vegetables. So first, we'll start with the two scallions. And Next is our onion, and for the onion, we're just going to be using half of it. So first, let's just cut the tip off. We're just going to cut it in half. And save this for later. We're going to add it to the kimchi. Um, next, let's just chop off some jalapeno.
So now we're gonna need to drain the canned tuna. Just open the tuna. And you know, you'll notice that my tuna is red. It's because I got this thing called kochu chamchi, which is a um, pep red pepper uh, flavored tuna. So um, it's that's why it's red. But we're just going to drain the tuna oil. So we'll just drain it into the drain. I'd use a spoon. I'll drain it a little bit. So just push down the tuna and really squeeze out the juice. Squeeze out the tuna oil. All right. Now it's time to get to the stove. I'm going to be using this special uh, pot, um, which is super light. It's called Yang Eun Nembi. Yang Eun Nembi. And this is, I think, made of aluminum. Very thin material, um, and it's perfect. It's like the pot to cook ramen in. But I like to also cook my kimchi jjigae in this. So I'm going to be using this. You can get these on Amazon or H Mart um, if you want to try it. This is just a fun way to eat ramen, and I do think it does taste a little better. Um, and because of its thin material, it boils water super fast. So I'm going to be using the Yang and Nembi. And we're going to need... We're going to put two tablespoons of sesame oil into the Nembi. Sesame oil, one, two. And let's start the stove. Just wait for it to get a little bit warm. And we're going to add the kimchi that we were marinating and the onion into the stove, into the pot. So stir fry it for a while. You will notice that after about two minutes of uh, cooking the kimchi, you will notice you'll notice some juice coming out of the kimchi. But now I'm going to add. This is like a leftover kimchi I had, and I'm gonna add all of that in along with the kimchi soup that comes with the kimchi. I'm gonna add that in and stir it for a little longer. And once you notice that the kimchi leaves have become a little soft. Then we're gonna add the water. And I'm gonna be adding about two, about two cups of water. Or actually, maybe I'll add just a one cup of water. I just wanna add so that the kimchi is all under the water, but it's not too much. Just mix it around a little. And now we're going to add one tablespoon of the soy sauce for soup. Bring our minced garlic. And let's do one tablespoon of minced garlic. This much. Just mix it in there. Now I'm going to add the red pepper flakes. Maybe about half a teaspoon, tablespoon, half a tablespoon. So about this much. I'll add it to the kimchi chica. And you wait for it to boil. Listen to the kimchi jjigae boiling. I might add a little more water now because as it boils, the water kind of shrinks. I'm gonna add a little more water. So at the end, I'd be putting in about two cups. And now to this, we're going to add our canned tuna. the whole can and mix it around and 
right after you add the canned tuna, we're going to add in the jalapeno. Yes. So we're going to let this boil for 10 minutes. Um, but keep checking. So the more you boil, the soup gets even more tasty. Um, so I'm just going to let this boil for 10 more minutes. Coming back and forth within the 10 minutes, I will add some more water. And check up that. Almost at the last tip, we're going to add the scallions. And let it boil even more. And kimchi jjigae. Wansong! Wansong! Thank you.